What in the world is this right now? Emmy Lou, how in the world did you get out? I do not understand this. This is twice. This is twice now you've gotten out. You little Houdini, how in the world are you getting out? Show me the hole. Show me the hole. Come on, show me where you're getting out. Come on, show me where you're getting out. Show me where you're getting out. Show me where you're getting out. <laughs> All right, y'all, Dave here, Wild Hearts Farm. Um, exciting times right now because uh, today is moving day. So we have had our goats in this temporary, temporary as in like the last two years, uh, goat enclosure, um, you know, kind of by the house. And we wanted to move them for a really, really long time and they're gonna be moved into the barn. So we finally uh, finished um, trimming out one of the stalls and we've got the fencing in, some of the fencing at least, uh, the, the big pasture fencing for the horses. And now we're gonna move. Oh yeah, I hear you buddy. That's one of our new roosters here, a blue Andalusian. Looks he's coming at me. Oh. <laughs> we also have to move all this fencing uh, behind me um, over there and we're gonna kinda create a, a goat enclosure just for them. So they'll be moving from here to here. All right, so let me show you. Uh, we've taken one of the stalls and instead of using it for uh, horses, we're gonna actually, it's all trimmed out for the goats. So it's gonna be their new little enclosure. Um, what I'm about, about to do is bring a little bit more dirt in here, uh, get some hay down, and then uh, it'll be all set up uh, for them. A nice, warm, dry, uh, you know, clean, secure area for them to be in. So. Long time coming, I'm really uh, stoked to get them in here. Um, the tricky part, of course, is going to be moving them. So uh, we're gonna reuse a lot of the fencing. Um, that's uh, their, their, their current enclosure. And of course, all of the uh, uh, fence posts. So I'm gonna have to pull those and restake them all while these goats are gonna be running around like maniacs. So it's gonna be an, <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting day. Uh, this is the field we're going to be putting them in. I do have some extra wire I'm going to have to run. And we're just going to basically run some of those T-posts and some of that fencing down through here, make a nice big enclosure for them, and then run it along the fence line here. And they're going to have basically this sort of back quadrant here of our, of our pasture. So uh, I'm going to get to it. A lot of work to be done. And it should be... Uh, should be a pretty pretty interesting time. Um, definitely gotta wait for Heather to keep an eye on the goats. So uh, here we go. All right, so we've got everything laid out over there at the at the pasture and now what I've got to do is I've got to pull this fencing, pull these T-posts, uh, move everything over there, the T-posts the and the fencing, all while these goats are eventually going to get out and just start running around acting like little maniacs. I recruited some help here today. Yep, I'm going to be the goat watcher, so I'm going to come out here and help a little bit with whatever I can do with the fencing and watch the goats while they run around like little baby maniacs like they always do and try to get in the chicken coop and try to get eat the azalea bushes that they're not supposed to eat and all that. So and jump on the hood of the car and everything. <laughs> they're mischievous for sure. Aren't y'all? Huh? They look so sweet and innocent, right? Yeah. All right, well, time to get to it. Here we go. Babe, how's it going? Uh, good. Got one. <laughs> one out of 5,000. So what are you doing here? Um, 
Hey, buddy. This is harder than it looks, people, okay? Don't think I'm... I don't know what. Watch out! You don't want your eye right there. I got I got Heather out here helping me so I had this special tool I got at Tractor Supply that's made just for removing these little uh, uh, clips here on the fencing uh, I'm using that she doesn't know it I just gave her a pair of uh, a pair of pliers so let's see how she's doing <laughs> babe hey. what's taking you so long I got like half that hey, side done already I am doing this okay <laughs> you are your hands are stronger. <laughs> toxic masculinity. <laughs> Beware. I'll take toxic are those, masculinity. Are those, are those pliers working right for you? Uh, kind of. Yeah? Yeah. Would you be upset if I told you I, I have a special tool that I've been using? Uh, <laughs> babe, why are you doing this to me? See what happens? <laughs> Ladies, we're not really that weak. It's just that men have better tools. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all, these goats don't seem to be too uh, concerned right now with what's going on. They're just all coupled up and hanging out in the cool, uh, cool uh, winter. I don't know, spring. Spring. Uh, we hear you, buddy. <laughs> all right. So we're getting. We're making progress on the fence, and of course, the goats are starting to figure out what's going on. They're like, hmm, the fence is not quite intact, but we can't figure out how to get out of it. What do you bet that Emmy Lou will be the first one to get out? Uh-oh, there's a breach! Oh, hi, baby. Hey, Punky. Hi, lady. How are you doing, pretty girl? Oh, stop to pet the baby. Go oh, stop to pet the baby. Oh, are we zoomed in? Oh, there we go. Hey, lady. Hello. Pretty girl. Goats, what's going on around here? Huh? What is going on? Hi, goats. It's like a tunnel. It's like a play tunnel. But not really fun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dolly. It's Dolly. June's putting her fat body on the fence and Dolly has gotten out. <laughs> Teamwork made the dream work. Oh, our first casualty. First casualty. Emmy Lou, what is going on here? Is your head stuck? Uh-oh. How in the world did you do that? How did you do that? Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You want me to get it? Uh, hold on. <laughs> how, do you, how do you do this? There you go. go. Yay! Come on. Come on. All the other goats left already. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> we have to go that way. Good job. That's exactly why I can't wait to get them over to the barn. I mean, it's oh just God. nonstop. She's hanging out here so she can try to go back. And I know. <laughs> and this is what happens. They get right in here and they start eating the food. I mean, this was five, this was two minutes, two minutes of them being out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs>
That's right, that's right. Now get out. Yep. Already. Already. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, the fencing is completely fallen down, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, these goats have no clue what's going on right now. They seem to be a little bit concerned, right? They're like, what's going on with our nice little safe home here? Um, chickens are all in here eating out of the goat's food dish. It's pretty much chaos, um, but that's exactly what we expected. So uh, I think Heather's putting hay in the stalls right now that we're going to put them into. I'm going to continue trucking along and removing some of these uh, fence posts and uh, hopefully get this done by this afternoon. All right. What you doing? Okay, I'm moving the goat stuff over. They're already in their stall. Why? Because they um, were in the chicken coop raising hell. <laughs> like Didn't they last long. Like, it, it's like it's like 12:30. You would think that you couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't get to the food, but they can't. So, <laughs> I'm moving away. Baby. All right, y'all. Well, that's good. Awesome. Awesome. All right, y'all. Well, we made a uh, speedy work of this. This uh, some of the fencing's uh, still up. We have like two more posts to to pull, and this whole area is just is just no more. <laughs> it's gonna be grass here in the future, so um, uh, we love it. And the, the ghost did a great job of cleaning it out, which is great. So uh, on to uh, pounding in some T posts. All right, y'all. So absolute worst case scenario here. Goats, of course, were over there just absolutely tearing everything up by the house eating the, the azalea bushes, which by the way are poisonous to goats and it'll kill them. So uh, my wife was able to get them over here and put them into the stall that we just spent a whole lot of time um, trimming out for them. And lo and behold, they all got out. Yeah, we see you all got out of your stall because your guys are bad. So this gate was closed, but Tether came over here to check on them and they all had gotten out of their stall, which is not good. I mean, these are four foot high walls. Uh, there's goat poop everywhere, of course. Um, and this is not, I, I mean, I, I really, this is just, this just sucks. I just hope this isn't something that they do all the time. So I, I, we cannot have these goats getting out into this barn just nonstop. I'm hoping this is just because 
uh, you know, they're scared. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on, and we just kind of threw them in here, and they don't know what's going on. Probably, probably wasn't the best way to introduce them to their new home. But, I mean, what could you do, right? If you guys weren't such stinkers tearing stuff up, we wouldn't have to throw you in over here like this and could have done the proper way to introduce you to your home. <sighs> so I've really got to get a move on, get these fence posts in, get the fencing in, and uh, be able to open these doors so they can get out and um, acclimate properly. But right now, this is just not uh, the best case scenario for them. So, well, what do you do? Uh, but I'm going to get back to work. Whew. All right, y'all, it is break time. Um, I've got uh, one run done. I just got to get across this backside and uh, I am ready for uh, a little bit of lunch and but my beautiful wife has brought over a little snack for us. Charcuterie. <laughs> and Baruch, none for you, buddy. So, uh, yeah, an adult beverage. Nice. So we're gonna take a break and then get back at it. And you can still hear these goats going crazy. So we're gonna try and move fast and get these goats in. To this pasture. All right. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> getting used to their surroundings. Yes, They're I can see that. I know. Very scared. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Scaring the crap out of you. All right, y'all. It was a super long day, and I actually still haven't finished all of the. Uh, fencing yet um a decent amount of it though it's just it was just such chaos so here you go we've got it you know just a nice little quadrant in i still have to run the fencing up the side here and then we'll be good so i'm gonna do that tomorrow and the goats already moved over we'll see if they actually stay in there they jumped out and they're they were wandering on the barn again so um, i'm hoping they'll settle in and um yeah i mean i guess for the most part, <laughs> success. I don't know. It depends on what you define as uh, success. But um, we've got them over here. We've got the fencing almost all the way up. So um, it was a crazy, crazy day. You know, the sun's already going down. We're calling it. And um, yeah, you know, God is good. And uh, you know, this is our life. So uh, it was quite amusing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I already hear her. I already hear the goats in there clumping around. So. Um, all right. Till next time.